John, we were just discussing this morning how swab studies show that door handles, faucet levers, and worst of all, paper towel dispensers carry more bacteria than toilet seats. Tell us how you're going to make our bathrooms better. Well, thank you, Tracy, and uh, nice to see you today. Um, Wanda is really designed to keep people accountable when it comes to facility management and particularly frontline cleaners, because you can go into a restroom and we all know this, we'd probably do it at home. You know, there's a difference between a deep clean and a soft clean, let's call it. Um, and uh, you know, how do you know it's being do done properly, right? Like, it's not like you can walk in and look at you know, one of these surfaces and say, aha, you know, that's filled with bacteria. So what Wanda does is make sure that the job is being done properly. And um, so we have a system to collect this data to make sure that we know who did what, when, where, sometimes why, sometimes with resources, right? And, uh, that's a huge step forward from simply signing a piece of paper, which is historically what we see in restrooms. I don't think that gives us any confidence at all that these key, um, let's say, uh, cleaning spots are, are even being done. So, so WAND is a huge step forward in collecting the data around what's being done by whom and when, but recently, and, and we've acknowledged this fact that, you know what, you could have a cleaner that goes into a restroom and does all the job that they're supposed to do, but maybe they're just a, not a very good employee. So that's why we introduced Mira recently, which is our inspection slash auditing software. So now managers come in after that, and, and they do take swabs. I mean, that, that's part of their job as, a, uh, as an inspector is to take swabs to measure the cleanliness. Well, that's what Mira is all about. So I think, I think we've closed the loop on trying to, you know, have a higher standard of cleaning and hygiene um, in, in restrooms or, or any other area in a building, because it could be an office handle, uh, door handle that, uh, you know, that, that maybe got missed, that, that can transmit disease very easily hand to, uh, hand, to hand. So, um, you know, uh, we think that uh, we've got a very good solution to this. And uh, the reason why we say that is because we're getting uptake and recently, um, you know, the Ontario government introduced Bill 190, which essentially, essentially acknowledges what you're saying. It's like, you know, are we providing clean, safe restroom areas for our, work, uh, our workers and staff? So possibly not, which is why Bill 190 was introduced. But really, Bill 190 is a reflection of what Wanda does. So... You know, that, that's a huge step forward for us um, in terms of uh, adoption of the technology. But it should be everywhere for precisely the reasons that you've identified, particularly hospitals and, uh, you know, places where you would expect to go in and uh, be in a healthy environment. Well, I was just about to ask you about this Bill 190. I don't know that everybody out there would be familiar with that. Can you just give us a little background on it and why it's impacting vision state so positively. Yeah, 100%. So Bill 190 um, originated out of occupational health and safety um, because it was an acknowledgement that, um, you know, that it wasn't necessarily a safe environment for workers um, for, you know, uh, utilizing the facilities, the restrooms. 
Um, there was a, uh, you know, and, and, and let's face it, Tracy, I mean, diseases are popping up all the time. COVID hasn't gone away. Measles is back, you know, so um, there's all these different threats to health and the Ontario government took it upon themselves to ensure that we're providing the safest facilities that we can. So what this bill means is that uh, public facing businesses now have to maintain electronic records on their cleaning program and they have to display the last two times the uh, restroom was cleaned in a digital format that's easy to consume for the consumers. So this is Wanda. So literally we're deploying QR codes, scan it with your phone, it'll give you the history of the cleaning. That this, this is how our system works with Bill 190 to address this issue of when it was clean, how it was cleaned, and by whom it was cleaned. Uh, so, um, you know, really it, it's a, a public safety initiative on their behalf, but this was our space already. We, we are in the cleaning and hygiene space with, with Wanda that, you know, tracks cleaning. Um, now we also track inspections. Soon we're gonna have AI uh, to help us plot um, cleaning schedules, cleaning routes, resources, and that sort of thing. So, um, you know, it has a huge impact on us because it basically validates what Wanda um, was and does. So uh, we're, we're excited about all the businesses that we're going to onboard that require this technology to meet the requirements of that bill on December 31st. 2025. And of course, Wanda is a SaaS model, correct? It is. Yeah. And I loved your most recent news release. Uh, just this last week, you wrote that uh, your first Wanda Light deployment outside of Ontario amid growing demand. Let's talk about your growing demand, John. Yeah. So, um, you know, ironically, we built what we called Wanda Light to specifically address Bill 190. Uh, but then what we realized is that, look, this is a very simple way of implementing, um, you know, a, a, an application to get control over, you know, your cleaning and, you know, understand when, you know, it's being done and by whom and all that sort of thing. Uh, so, you know, sometimes technology companies make the mistake of throwing too much technology at people and being too disruptive because you know that excites people like us right but that's not always the most applicable strategy so um when we built wanda light to just provide the digital records to just provide you know the last cleaning times uh, what we found is, wow, that's easy to implement. Let's try it out. Um, you know, and, and they may evolve to a full Wanda uh, application, but we made it really super easy for people, uh, well, for uh, facility managers to, to implement this. Uh, so, you know, there's really no excuse at this point because people's health is important. And uh, you know what, I, I don't know about you, but I, I walk into a facility, my perception of that facility is often governed by their approach to uh, cleaning and hygiene. And a lot of people are like that now. Well, I, I'm certain that most of our audience agrees with you completely. And with that, thank you so much for joining us today. For everybody out there going, Vision State, AI, facility management, please go to the following website. Thank you, John. Thank you, Tracy. Really appreciate your time.